<clears throat> so now we're going to add some of the the type details. Uh, I'll try to make this video a little bit shorter than the last one. Um, but uh, <clears throat> anyway, uh, so let's we'll start up at the top and work our way down. Uh, the headline is probably not quite the right size, but uh, we'll we'll get that at the toward, towards the end. Let's get it the right color. Um, so I'm going to select my text box, and you'll find the color, especially with type, is a little bit different in InDesign than it is in Illustrator. Uh, so I'm going to find my uh, color uh, boxes. I've got a couple. I've got a little palette thing that sort of gives me the slider. And then I've also got these swatches, which gives me a very limited crayon box. But it does have a dark blue and a light blue. And so let's just go with those. And uh, I'll start by making Call Me Ishmael the light blue. But you'll notice that by default, and this is really dumb, uh, the background, the box that this type is in is what's selected. And so if I click blue, it fills in that box. And so we're going to click uh, none or paper. Uh, for that and then we have to click this little T for the type and so it tells us that the type is black and we're just going to change it to this light blue. <clears throat> um, we are in preview mode right now so I'm going to change it back to normal so that I can see all of my boxes. I'm going to make this type box just a little bit smaller so it gets sort of out of the way and I'll make uh, this sort of subtitle in this byline. Maybe I'll make those the darker blue. And I think I want them to be a sans serif. So I'm gonna get my character panel again. And I think I'm gonna type in Helvetica. And I'm gonna use the Helvetica new, uh, just because that's uh, one of the ones that uh, has so, so many options. And I really like the extended versions of those. So I'll start with that. And that's that's ultra light. I think that's too light. Let's just go with something like let's just let's start with just regular extended. And that's not bad. Now the one that says Herman Melville in it, we need to right align that. So I'm gonna get my paragraph box and just click align right and that works pretty much like it does in illustrator uh, but i just kind of dropped this box in here it's not in the right place and i want to put the right edge of this box on this guide so i'm going to move that over i might even want to zoom in so i'm zooming in here and i want to put this text box so that the bottom of this type and the right edge of this type are on this guide and this guide and I'll just try to nudge that right in there, something like that. And then I'll double check that this one is in the right place because it is not now that I'm all zoomed in. Um, and I'll show you, this is kind of a trick, but so the Call Me Ishmael, our title, and I might put this in title case. I could either capitalize the M and me, or I can go up to type and I can say, uh, change case and I can put it in title case and that'll capitalize that M. But if we look really closely we can see that if I put this text box on the guide the C is not actually on the guide and another little just like typography thing when I'm aligning round characters uh, especially in headings I often want them to actually hang over my guides a little bit not very much but I may want to have this C just hang over this guide uh, ever so slightly. And then when I come down here, it looks like the L is pretty much right on the guide um, and I'm at uh, 60 points, so that's, that's pretty great. So we're just gonna leave that alone. And then I've got Moby Dick or the Whale and by Herman Melville. And, uh, and we'll leave those for right now. And then I'll uh, I'm gonna zoom back out of here. Um, and so our top is looking okay. So now let's get into this type. Um, we're gonna take a look at the details of the type. And there's a bunch of invisible things. Uh, invisible things are things like returns and spaces and 
there's a handful of other things that are invisible in type. Uh, so I'm going to go up to type and I'm going to pull down to show hidden characters. These are our invisible characters. And it shows us things like paragraph returns and if we look really closely we can see spaces. And uh, everywhere where there's two paragraph returns where I see this big space, I'm going to get rid of those because um, an extra return is actually too big of a space for a paragraph. We want about half of this. Um, and so I'm just going to get my uh, text tool and I'm going to delete all of those extra paragraphs. So I've got, looks like three of them, I think. Yeah, I've got three of them. And I may adjust my type size down a little bit. So just like we did before, I've got my cursor anywhere in here and I'm gonna select all, which is Command A, or I can go to Edit and Select All. And I'm gonna make my type a little bit smaller. I think I'm gonna go to 11 points. Um, and when I go to 11 points, uh, I get one more paragraph and I'm gonna delete that extra paragraph too. Now, when I turn off or make my invisibles not visible, so I'm gonna go back to preview mode, my paragraphs are not indicated well and I do want to be able to see my paragraphs. Uh, and so I'm gonna get them through uh, my paragraph uh, panel and I'm going to select this type box. And in my paragraph panel, uh, and I'm gonna put this back into the default mode, it'll look something like this when you first click on the paragraph panel. If you are in the properties box trying to do paragraph options, um, it will be here also. I tend to use the extra paragraph panel because I'm adjusting these things a lot, but th you can go to either spot. Um, and the paragraph panel will often look like this from by default um, and we are just going to click the more options and so we see everything uh, or if we're in this paragraph panel the more options are under this little hamburger menu and I'm going to say show options and then we get the we get the same options you can be either in the paragraph panel or in the properties panel um, and so I've got several different uh, options that I can set in here. Um, and I've got a left side indent, a right side indent, a first line indent this is for paragraphs. <coughs> Excuse me, a last uh, right indent, which we won't use very often. And then we've got a space before, which can be handy with things like headings. And we've got a space after and a space after is what we use for paragraphs and our type was 11 points and so we want our uh, space after or our paragraph returns to be about half of that and so let's try six so we're going to change this number to 0p6 and i hit return and what i'll see is that i now have all of these returns but they are much more elegant than having an entire extra return as if I had you know typed and done this because this is just too much space uh, and so using under the paragraph panel the space after option in order to use it I have to have the text box selected and then it will automatically apply this to every paragraph in the text box uh, and it just looks a lot more elegant. Um, while we're here, uh, we may also want to think about justifying our type. So this type is referred to as ragged right. So it's got um, all of the type on the right hand side of, the of each column is not lined up. Um, the fourth box in the, in the paragraph panel, so the first one is a line left second one is a line center which we will never ever 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 use it's one of the most ugly things that exists we've got a line right which sometimes works for things like captions and other small forms of type and then the this first uh, option in the second group or the fourth total option is justify with the last line uh, just kind of being natural and we get something that looks like this. It's uh, much more elegant. If we zoom back out, 
um, it makes for a very clean looking page having both the left and the right hand side of each column uh, be aligned so nicely. Uh, so uh, let's get to this point um, as I've already gone 10 minutes and so I'm going to pause here and then we'll go 